Hey guys, what's up and welcome back to my channel. If you guys are new, welcome. My name is Chantal Schneider. And if you guys aren't new, welcome back. So I apologize if you guys hear any noises throughout the video. We currently have a room full of fluffy kittens and they're at that stage where they are like climbing over everything, getting into everything and just they're wanting to play. So you guys can probably hear them. And I thought I would just show you one of them because they are so cute. <laughs> so in today's video, if you guys couldn't have already told by the title, I am going to be showing you guys what I have on my baby registry on Amazon. So excited for this video. Um, I feel like even before I was pregnant, I had a baby registry and I would just add items because I knew one day I was gonna be a mom. It was a dream of mine to always be a mom. Um, so if you guys know me, you would know how badly I have always wanted to be a mom. Um, so even before we got pregnant, I already had a baby registry and was already adding items into it because, you know, it was my biggest dream in life to be a mom. Um, so here we are. We are almost 27 weeks pregnant and uh, it's time to, you know, start ordering things for the baby. Oh, yep. Yeah, there's the kitten. Oh, there's another one. Yeah, you guys are definitely going to be hearing the cats run around and play throughout this video um so i apologize they're so cute but like they are little monsters you guys are little monsters this is baby mustache say hi everyone hi guys as you guys know that i probably have like items on my registry that i'm not really gonna need um i'm a first time mom so I sort of went overboard with adding all this stuff into my registry. I was like, yeah, baby needs that, baby needs this, baby needs everything. Um, so all the stuff that we have on our registry, we have not purchased yet. Okay, so currently we have 13 weeks left to go until baby is here. Um, I have 121 items on my baby registry. Um, now all the items that I have on my registry are kind of just like things that I've thrown into it. Um, I might not exactly need every single item. Um, I'm a first time mom, I'm excited. So I'm kind of going a bit overboard, but I'm okay with that. So <laughs> we've got a lot of items. So let's get on with the video. So the first category that we have on the registry is the clothing category. The first item we have is the Halo sleep sack. Um, so this one was recommended to me by so many moms. They said they absolutely love this one. Um, so yeah, this is the Halo uh, sleep sack, swaddle, cotton, solid gray, newborn size. The next item we have is the Baby Nest Designs unisex closet dividers. Um, so they're closet dividers so that we can divide up each each of the clothing sections, if that makes sense. I'm pregnant, nothing makes sense. <laughs> they divide up baby's clothes um, so you can have all like your newborn clothing, your zero to three month, blah, blah, blah. We have the Muslin Baby Swaddles. This is a four pack. Then we've got some Touched by Nature Baby Organic Basic Socks. This is a 12 pack. And then the last item that we have in the clothing category are the newborn baby cotton gloves. This is just to prevent baby from, you know, scratching their face. The next category that we have is the bathing and skincare category. Um, so a lot of my mommy friends have recommended that we have like two to three different brands of skincare stuff just because baby skins are super sensitive and they might react to a certain brand so it's always good to have another brand just in case that happens burt's bees baby bubble bath we probably won't use this until baby is like a toddler but i put it on here anyways um we've got the burt's bees nourishing baby bee baby oil <laughs> um and then we've got the burt's bees diaper rash ointment um, then we have the brand Johnson's. So this is the Johnson's baby powder with aloe vera, vitamin E, and cornstarch. We have the Live Clean Baby Soothing Oatmeal Relief Tearless Baby Wash. Aqua 4 Baby Healing Ointments. This item is very popular and was highly recommended by multiple moms to me. Um, we have the Angel Care Baby Bath Support. Um, then we have some washcloths. We have quite a bit on here. We've got a pack of 24. Um, these are the Amazon basic washcloths. Got some towels on here. These are the Burt's Bees baby infant uh, hooded towels. We've got another Burt's Bees item. Uh, this is the Burt's Bees baby multi-purpose ointment. 
the Vaseline Original Petroleum Jelly on here. We've got the Aveeno Baby Lotion. This is the Daily Moisturizing Cream for sensitive skin. And then we have the Aveeno Baby Eczema Care. Uh, this is the Night Cream one. Another Johnson's item. This is the Johnson's Baby Wash and Shampoo. Head to toe, tear free. And then the last item that we have in this category is the Skip Hop uh, Moppy Bath Tear Free Waterfall Rinser Bath Cup. This is like the whale thing so that no water gets into a baby's eyes. Okay, moving on to bedding. <laughs> um, we've got some fitted crib sheets. We've got like one, two, four on our registry. Uh, we've got the Blue Snail Super Soft and Comfy Crib Covers for Baby, um, just in gray. And then we've got um, Till You 100% Cotton Flannel Crib Sheets. We've got a white one and a gray one. Um, I wanted to have a few crib sheets so that we can change them out every so often. And of course, they're gonna get messy from baby, so I wanted to have some backups. Now this item is a comforter. Um, we actually have a futon in baby's nursery just because we can't have a couch in our living room because if you guys didn't know this, we breed rag dolls and breeding cats obviously aren't fixed, which means they can sometimes pee everywhere. Um, and the places that our cats do like to pee is on couches. So we don't have a couch in our living room to prevent peeing. Um, so we did get a futon actually this thing right here for baby's nursery. It's just somewhere where me and baby can relax and rest up. Um, so I got a comforter for this futon. Um, I've actually had this comforter before and I absolutely loved it. Um, then we got some changing pad covers. We've got a two pack here. This is the ultra soft and contoured plush changing pad covers. I'm really excited for this item specifically for the plaid cover. Um, plaid is like my all time favorite thing in the world. Um, it reminds me of my dad who passed away who always wore plaid. Um, so just to kind of like remember him and bring his spirit back into our home, um, I like to have random plaid things. So super excited for that. Um, and then I do also have another crib sheet on here. This is just the Amazon Basics baby crib sheet. Um, and then the last item we have is a American Baby Company waterproof fitted crib and toddler protective uh, mattress pad. So the next item we have on our registry is for the car. Um, so the first item we have is a organizer where we can put, you know, toys to keep baby occupied in the car. Uh, we can store baby wipes, extra diapers, extra clothing, and it just hooks on to the back of one of your front seats. Um, then we have the Jolly Jumper driver baby mirror. And then we have the hot sun safety shades to protect the sun from getting into baby's eyes. And then we have the famous baby on board sticker. <laughs> so the next category that I have on my registry is nursery decor. Um, so the first item we have are some night lights. Then we have a two pack organizer. Um, I thought this would be great to get two of them so that we can have one of these organizers on the back of baby's nursery room and then maybe one in the bathroom or in our bedroom um we've got a white noise machine we've got the viva nightlight for babies um i really like this one because you don't have to like flip a switch you can just touch it and it'll turn on okay so the next category is the dapering category i believe i have quite a few items in this category so let's jump right into it um we've got the munchkin warmer glow wipe warmer um, we've got some Baby Works scented diaper disposable bags. Now we are going to be doing cloth diapers, um, but I'm not sure if we're actually going to be using cloth diapers at the start, just because a lot of people have said to me that newborn poo, I <laughs> guess I can say the word newborn poo because this is a mommy video. Um, so yeah, people have said that newborn poo is, you know, not the greatest for cloth diapers. It's super runny. Um, so we're thinking about doing disposable diapers for the first few weeks um, while baby is here. Um, and so we're not going to get a diaper genie just because, you know, we're going to be switching to cloth diapers and yeah, I just don't want to get a diaper genie if I don't need one. Um, obviously, we're going to have some sort of place where we put the dirty cloth diapers, um, just not a diaper genie. So we did add these disposable bags for the disposable diapers just in case. Then we have a diaper bag. This is the, 
I don't even think I could pronounce this. <laughs> um, this is a Conleet diaper bag, multi-pack, multifunctional waterproof travel backpack. Um, the reason I really like this diaper bag is because it's a backpack instead of like a handheld bag. Then we have the Alva Baby cloth diapers. This is a six pack. Um, I don't know why I'm so excited to be doing cloth diapers. I don't know if this is weird or not, but I'm excited to like wash them. I don't know. I know that sounds so weird. I'm just excited to be doing cloth diapers. Um, so these are the, um, the main part of the cloth diaper. And then the next item we have are the five layer bamboo cloth diapers. These are the inserts that go inside the cloth diaper. Hi baby. Hi baby. Hi. Hi baby. Then we have a Daper Caddy storage bag to, you know, bring to room to room. Um, this is the Amazon Basic Daper Caddy bag. We've got the Munchkin waterproof changing pad liners for the change table. Um, we have the Alva Baby cloth diaper wet and dry bags. Um, we live in an apartment building, so we don't want to use the laundry machines that everyone else uses. You know, we just want to be nice and not wash our baby's dirty diapers in those. Um, so we have a portable washing machine on here. Then we have a travel size changing pad mat um, that we can keep in the car or just, you know, bring with us wherever we are going. Um, we've got a Munchkin Secure Grip Changing Pad. And then the last item that we have in the diaper category are baby wipes. Okay, so the next category is feeding. Now, I'm really hoping I can breastfeed. That's always been a dream of mine. This may be weird, but even before we got pregnant, I was on YouTube and I was watching like breastfeeding milk storage videos. I always found them interesting. Um, so yeah, let's get started with the feeding category. The first item we have on here is the Alva Baby Nursing Pillow. Um, now I do have a few types of different brands when it comes to bottles, just because a lot of people were saying that not every baby is going to like every certain type of bottle. Um, so I wanted to make sure that we have at least two different brands in case baby doesn't like one of them. I think I have like four brands on here. So so we have the Philips Avent Natural Glass Baby Bottles. This is the four ounce three pack. Um, we have the Boone Nourish Silicone Pouch Bottle, four ounce. It's a three pack as well. Um, we've got the very standard Dr. Brown's Standard Bottles, four ounce, a four pack. Um, and then we have the Alva Naturals Bottle and Dish Liquid uh, soap to wash the uh, bottles with. Um, I have a breast pump on here. I'm not sure if I'm going to get this breast pump or I think it was the Evenflow Deluxe um, double breast pump that my friend Brooke recommended to me. Um, so I think I would want to get that one since she really likes it. But they don't have it on Amazon. So right now I have this one on my registry. Not sure which one I'm actually going to get. Um, I can't even say this name. So thankfully, Here's the photo. Um, it's the Signature Pro Double Electric Breast Pump. Um, then we have some baby bibs. This is from the brand Alva Baby. We've got some nipple soothing gel pads. So we have a bunch of burp cloths on our registry. We've got the brand Trend Lab Circles. This is the four piece set. Um, we've got the Copper Pearl three pack. Um, we've got the Earth Mama Organic Nipple Butter for breastfeeding. We've got the very famous Hakka. We've got a baby bottle warmer. This is the Philips Event Fast Bottle Warmer. And um, we also have the Philips Event Naturals Essential Gift Set. I really like this item. I think this is for sure going to be something that we do purchase off the registry, um, just because it comes with the little container where you can put it in the microwave and sterilize the bottles. It comes with two eight ounce bottles, two four ounce bottles, um, two binkies, the soothers, whatever you want to call it and it comes with a cleaning brush. Uh, we've got some disposable nursing pads on here. We've got a bottle drying rack. This is the OXO tote bottle drying rack. The Ingenuity, Ingenuity, I don't even know how to say that. Um, this is the Trio Elite 3-in-1 high chair. I do have another bottle sterilizer and dryer for baby on here. Um, I did just notice that this also says it can heat up milk. Um, so we might not need the Philips Event Fast Bottle Warmer if this is like 
Oh yeah, this is a way better deal. This is a five-in-one multifunctional item. So it's a bottle sterilizer and dryer. Um, it warms up milk and can heat food. So I think we would go with that item. Um, and then the last item that we have in the feeding category are these uh, breast milk storage bags. Okay, so the next category on the registry is furniture. So the first item we have is a Jolly Jumper with stand. Um, this is obviously something that baby will use later on. We've got a crib, we've got a change table. Uh, we have the Baby Move Cozy Dream Original Newborn Lounger. So the Baby Move and the Fisher Price Soothing Motions Bassinet are kind of an item that are going to go together. Um, so we plan on taking the Baby Move and putting it inside of the bassinet. We have the Bumbo Floor Seat, the Grace Co. Pack and Play, the North State Super Yard Ultimate Play Yard. This is just to keep a baby in one specific area. My boyfriend called it a jail cell. So then we have the gear section. Um, we've got one, two, three, we have three different baby wraps. Two are basically the same. They are the cotton baby wraps. Um, those ones I will probably use. Uh, we've got the Daisy, Daisy Grow baby wrap. We've got the Boba baby wrap. And then we have the Infant Flip Advanced 4-in-1 Convertible Carrier, which my boyfriend will probably use. Um, the next category is the Health and Baby Care. So the first item we have on here is the Safety First Deluxe Healthcare and Grooming Kit. The Banana Baby uh, Training Toothbrush. Got some Arm and Hammer Pacifier Wipes. Nasal Aspirator and Ear Syringe. Hypoallergenic Liquid Detergents. The Skip Hop Grab and Go Silicone Pacifier. Definitely am going to get this item uh, just because I have OCD and I just, I need, I need something to put the pacifier in. I can't just throw it into my bag. That's just so gross to me. Eh. So yeah. <laughs> um, then we have the Kite Baby Bamboo three-piece brush set. And we also have some Philips Event Soother pacifiers. Um, the next category is postpartum. I don't have that many items on here because I do plan on buying them for um, our local shoppers drug mart. And I do believe the hospital gives you a bunch of stuff. Um, but some of the items I have on here are the reusable cold packs for down there. <laughs> I've got the Earth Mama Angel Baby New Mama Bottom Spray. I've got the Frida Baby Mom Upside Down Perry Bottle for postpartum. Um, I've got some granny panties. This category is safety. So we do live in a two bedroom apartment. Um, so our bedroom and baby's nursery are fairly close together. Um, we will be having baby sleep with us probably for the first year in our bedroom. Um, but I do have a baby monitor and camera on my registry just in case, you know, I'm wanting to put baby in the nursery for a little bit while I go do dishes or something um, where I can still have the camera just because it'll make my anxiety feel a lot better being able to see baby. Um, so for the camera, uh, we have the outlet baby monitor and camera. So I have the baby ear forehead digital thermometer and we have a dream baby step up stool which I could probably use as well because I am so small. <laughs> um, for strollers, we only have one item. This is the Grace Co. Models Travel System. It comes with a stroller and a car seat. And the final category that we have on our registry is toys. Um, we have the Baby Einstein 4-in-1 Kick and Tunes Music Activity Gym Play Mat. We've got some baby teething toys the Sophia giraffe. <laughs> um, yes, I am being extra and wanting a ball pit for when baby is a toddler and can sit in there in a ball pit with mom. <laughs> uh, so we got the ball pit uh, play, play pen um, and then we have the super soft uh, ball pit balls. Um, then we have for the bath, this is the ducky hot safety bath where it tells you if the bath is too hot. And then the very last item on our registry is the wooden rattles. Okay guys, so that is it for today's video. I really hope you enjoyed seeing all the things that we have on our baby registry. If you guys do have any video suggestions, please let me know down below in the comments. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.